Hello you, and welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about my channel today. If you don't know who I am, my name is Matthew Van Der Pitter. Damn, I messed that one up. My name is Matthew Van Der Pitter. I'm a time-lapse photographer living in London, and this channel is all about time-lapse travel and tutorials. And today I'm tutorialing you about my new-ish YouTube setup. I'm gonna talk about microphones, cameras, lenses, lights, uh, script reading and monitoring, I guess. I love watching behind the scenes and, and how YouTubers make their YouTube videos and I think it's way overdue that I've made a new one of these because I've moved I've moved house since I did my last one. So firstly, let's talk about, um, what shall we talk about? You know, let's, let's talk about the, the camera. I think most people are interested in what cameras YouTubers shoot on, or at least I am. So I'm shooting on a Canon 1DX Mark II which these days only gets used for this YouTube setup, which is massive overkill. But the cool thing about the camera is it's got really great autofocus, uh, visual facial tracking, and when you put something up there, it focuses quite well. I'm using it on facial tracking. I'm shooting at uh, 25 frames per second, 1 50th of a second exposure, and then the ISO is currently set at uh, 1000. Audio-wise, I'm using the Rode Link wireless filmmaker kit which has a transmitter here that you can charge with a USB or use with a USB bank on the side or it has two AA batteries in there. That's with a little wire here, it goes to that live mic that you always see in my videos pretty much because I can't be bothered hiding it. A lot of other YouTubers use boom mics but I prefer doing it this way because I'm more mobile and it involves less setup. Lens-wise, the 1DX is running on a 24-70 f4 with, of course, image stabilization turned off because we're on a tripod. If you have IS on on your lens while on a tripod, it actually goes and looks for motion, which, as a little side tip, will lead to blurry photos if you're ever doing long exposures on a tripod with lens with IS. It is mounted on a carbon fiber Manfrotto video tripod. I've got a double quick release on there for some reason because I use that video tripod and other tripods um, often intermixed, so I need a quick, quick release. I hope that makes sense. On top of the Canon is the receiver for the Roadlink wireless filmmaker kit. And then on the side, out of the other port, comes a little USB cable that goes through a normal USB to USB-C transformer, just a little plug that plugs into my phone. And that phone is mounted with a Manfrotto clamp a little magic arm by a brand that I can't remember now, and that goes to a magic clamp on the tripod. And I'm using DSLR controller as a controller and a monitor to see my exposure focus framing for the visual that is being recorded on the 1DX, and I'm also using that as a stop and a start trigger mechanism. I really like this app, I think it costs a few bucks, but I mean, you know, I've, it saves me buying a monitor, so that's pretty good. Then, right in front of me, I've got my MacBook Pro with my script. Uh, I often script my content because it's more efficient, and then I can work on the flow and the rhythm of what I'm telling you, uh, as you probably noticed in one of my videos. Got a glass of water here because it gets real warm, and I get real thirsty when filming. Oh yeah, the phone that I'm using is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Still my favorite phone that I've used so far. Then, lights. So there's three lights. Guess where they are? Well, you'd know it probably. There's a light over there, there's a light over there, and there's a light right behind me. The main light is on an aluminum tripod. It's the Aperture Lightstorm uh, 120D. I want to say D for daylight, with a mini light dome and the grid on it, so the diffuser and the grid. And this kind of isolates the light that falls on my face instead of spreading it around too much. So it's kind of more, it creates a more of a contrast between me and the backdrop, or at least that's what it should be doing. If you want to see me try out different lighting diffusers, I've got a video right here that you can watch. I do have a little remote for that light as well, uh, but I don't know where I put it. I've just, I've nailed the setup pretty much. Like the, I, it looks good because um, I've done a bunch of lighting tests, really. Then we've got an ap another aperture light right behind me which is the little Amaran ALM9, which is really super tiny. Uh, and all that does is it kind of separates, um, separates me from the background, gives it a nice glow. Oops, there we go. Gives it a nice glow on the back wall. I can add some lighting gels on there as well, or color gels to change the light, which you would have noticed in some of my videos. For example, talking about SERP, their branding is green. I changed that to a green filter and then 
you know, it changes the lighting. Um, I sometimes use loom cubes as well, depending on if that battery is dead or not. And then to my right, we have a really cool light. This is a Falcon Eyes. I gotta check the size. It's a SO28TD, which works on battery or wired as well. It's a variable temperature light and it goes up and down in strength with this little touchscreen. This is at its lowest right now. So on the side, it was on the lowest. Let's pop it, um, pop it on the highest. You'll see how completely blown up I get. Um, a bit much? Yes. Don't need it. Don't need it that much here. But yeah, I do really like this light. Falcon I sent this to me for free in exchange for a little little video uh, talking about it. So here we are. And yeah, it changes temperature as well. I'm not sure if you'll notice that here. Yeah, you can see that the whole temperature, I'm shining out the wall and it's bouncing off. So you can see the temperature change and how that changes when I just turn it off. So that's the Falcon Eyes. That's, uh, that's my filming setup. If you have any questions, Please drop them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, yeah, it's good to get kind of back in a rhythm of making more regular content. I also wrote down all these items in a list on my blog, which is matchos.com slash blog. Thank you for tuning in. I'm so hot right now. Hope to see you guys on the next video. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next one. Peace. Whew. When I say it's hot, I mean it. It's actually just so, so hot always. Is my audio right? Am I going too loud? No, it's fine. End screen time. Here we are at the end screen. We're always trying to come up with something to promote. Patreon.com slash Matt Joes, a website where you can give me money every month and <laughs> support me making more educational, free educational content for you about time lapse and videography and YouTube studios. If you want, links down below. Got an ebook as well. Check it out. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Ha.